Hi, my name is Andy. I'm one of the wine specialists based here in the Waitrose in John Lewis, Oxford Street. And today I'd like to uh, talk to you about uh, a new tequila of ours. This is Casa Amigos, a brand created by George Clooney, who's a big fan of tequila. And uh, this is uh, tequila made by the most award-winning distillery in Mexico. It's 100% agave, which is something you should always look for. Uh, on a bottle of tequila and agave, um, the blue agave, Weber agave, is specifically uh, specified for tequila. It's the only agave you can use for making tequila. Uh, it takes about eight years to grow, between eight and 12 years to grow. And uh, then it's harvested uh, by a troop of men called Jimadors, who use a spade-like device to cut away the spiky leaves of the plant leaving you with uh, a piña, uh, the heart of the plant, uh, which looks a little bit like a pineapple, hence piña, uh, which is then um, steamed, roasted, crushed, pressed, and the juice is fermented uh, with, uh, in this case, a really long fermentation uh, in vats before distillation and again it's a long slow distillation for the Casamigos tequila and that long fermentation long distillation give uh, much greater extraction of flavors from uh, the raw pulque the raw juice uh, of the piñas and uh, gives greater complexity in the finished product so perfectly clear this is uh, a blanco or unaged tequila remember it took eight years to grow the piña it only takes about 18 months to grow, uh, to age a reposado and three years to age uh, an anejo. So the age of a tequila is really in the growing of the agave before distilling and then aging. Um, so this is a great example of, of a silver tequila. Now on the nose it's got a fruity floral um, character, uh, vegetal, slightly vegetal nature which is, is pure agave. And that's one of the reasons why I love silver tequila so much is that they shout of their, uh, their origins. Uh, when you get a great Anejo tequila, you could be drinking almost any great aged spirit. Um, and the agave takes second place to uh, the, 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 the barrels, to the oak influence. In this instance, it's all about the agave. This is beautifully smooth. You can lose sight of the fact that this is a full strength 40% tequila because it is so smooth. And this is really down to the art of the distiller. As well as those lovely um, fruity vegetal characters from the agave, there's almost a, a sweet uh, creme caramel character on the finish which is, is quite unusual in a Blanco tequila, but it's not down to any added flavors. This is, purely, this is a purely distilled uh, tequila, uh, nothing added except water to cut it back to its bottling strength of 40%. And the finish goes on a long time. This is absolutely delicious. Cheers.